Hi, in this video we want to work on different applications of Pythagorean theorem. For this problem, we have related ideas, hints, and similar problems. You can use them in my website. And similar problems, there are two problems. We will solve one of them and I leave one of them as homework. We will solve 2018 AMC 20, AMC 2018, problem 24. We solve this one, and again here we have related ideas. Hint, and this problem, I leave this problem as homework. Okay, so let's try. Okay. In this problem, it is x, it is x, 9, 3, 12. We have these things. Now, as I said, related ideas. Pythagorean theorem and hint is what? I said diagonal squared is 3 squared plus 9 plus 12 squared. Let's see why in this problem if i draw this diagonal we can extend this part and we can draw perpendicular from this point to this line so because it is a rectangle you can say this is three this one is also three this one is nine this one is also nine now if we write for example this one if we consider it is a b c or let's consider something let's consider it is a b c d and this point is e if we apply pythagorean theorem in triangle a c e then it will be what a c squared is equal to a e squared plus c e squared a e is 3 3 squared plus C. C is 9 plus 12. 9 plus 12 squared. So 3 squared is 9. 9 plus 12, 21. 21 squared. So 9 plus 4, 4, 1. Memorize uh, perfect squares up to 31 squared, which is 9, C, 6, 1. Less than 1,000. They can be so much useful. So it is 450. Now we can say, okay, AC, we can take a square root. AC squared is this. So AC is equal to 450. Now, we can say, so AC is equal to 450 is, uh, you can say 9 times, 5 times because of this 0, 5, 25 times 2. So it will be square root of 9 times square root of 25 times square root of 2. Square root of 9 is 3 times 5 times square root of 2, which is 15 root 2. Now the problem wants x. Again, we should apply another Pythagorean theorem. So if you apply Pythagorean theorem, for example, in triangle ADC, in which triangle here? We know AD squared plus dc squared is equal to ac squared ad is x so x squared dc is x x squared ac squared is what we know ac squared is 450 so we can say 450 now we can say so 2x squared is what is 450 so if we divide both sides by 2 x squared is 225 so we can conclude x is what? x is 15 plus minus 15, but x cannot be negative because it is side length. So x is 15 and we solve this problem. Okay, now let's solve similar problems. Uh, let's solve this problem, 2018 AMC 8. This one, read the problem. In this problem, it says what? It says, okay, if you have this cross section, E, J is midpoint of BF, I midpoint. If we consider area of E, J, C, I to the ratio of this area to uh, area of one of the faces of the cube, it will be what? Suppose that, for example, this length is A, okay? So here, area of one of the faces of the cube is what? Because A, A, in terms of A, A squared. So we should find area of E, J, C, I in terms of what? In terms of A. 
EI, if you pay attention, this triangle, this one is A, this one is A over 2. For this length also, it is a Pythagorean theorem. It is hypotenuse of AA over 2. For this one, again, we have AA over 2. And for this length, it is A again and A over 2. So as you can see, this triangle, this triangle, this triangle, and this triangle, they are congruent triangles. Why? Because of two sides and angle between 90. So we can say what? We can say A over 2A. We can say EJ is equal to EI, CI, and CJ. Okay? Okay, so these four triangles are congruent, as I said, because of two sides and angle between 90 degree and all of them A over 2A. So we can conclude other sides of them are equal. So we can conclude that because these four lengths are equal in EICJ, we can say that it is a rhombus. And in rhombus, the area is what? Do you know the formula of rhombus is what? You can, uh, you, we know that diagonals are perpendicular. You can prove it as homework. And the area is what? Is product of diagonals over 2. Okay, so area of EICJ or EJCI that the problem wants is EC, this diagonal times IJ over 2. So now our problem is to find EC and JI. Uh, JI is easier. Let me tell you how we can calculate this. This IJ is equal to BD because BD, I, these two lengths, this one and this one, are equal and also uh, parallel to each other. So we can say it is a parallelogram and we can conclude IJ is equal to BD. Again, we should apply Pythagorean theorem for BD, which is IJ. So IJ squared is equal to BD squared. You can apply Pythagorean theorem here. It's a squared plus a squared, which is 2a squared. So we can conclude ij is the square root of this, which is a root 2. Now, let's focus on finding ec. For finding ec, we can use Pythagorean theorem in triangle eca because it is 90. It is what EC squared is EA squared plus EAC squared. EA squared, this length is A. A squared, AC squared. Again, we should apply Pythagorean theorem, for example, in triangle ADC or ABC. Okay? If we apply Pythagorean theorem, AC squared again is this length is squared plus this length is squared. Is a squared plus a squared. So it will be 3a squared. So we can say what? We can say ec, if we take a square root, is a root 3. Now we can find this area in terms of a. We can say it is what? ec is a root 3. So a root 3 times ij is what? a root 2. a root 2 over 2. So this area, let me write EJCI is, let me write it here. It is equal to A squared root 6 over 2. Now the problem wants what area of EJCI to the area of one of the faces. So A squared root 6 over 2 to area of one of the faces, which is A squared. So it will be root 6 over 2. It is what? It is r, the problem says. This ratio is r. Now the problem wants what? r squared. So r squared is what? r squared is root 6 over 2 squared. Root 6 squared is what? You can apply squared for each of them, or we can write root 6 squared. Root 6 over 2 times root 6 over 2. The numerator will be what? Root 6 times root 6, 6. Denominator 2 times 2, 4. So it will be 3 
over two, which is which choice? Choice C. Now, similar problem. Here again, we had related ideas and also hint and similar problems. You can try this one, 2020 AMC 8, problem 18. Try this problem as homework. If you wanted to learn 40, 50 important ideas in each topic, combinatorics, algebra, number theory, and geometry, feel free to send message to my WhatsApp number. And if you have any question, you can ask. Okay, have a good day. Bye.